What's up, YouTube? Current 6693 here. Here to bring you gaming and anime news. As well as anything that I find interesting. Man. I know I'm kind of late on this with you, but um, I just want to go ahead and get it out there. Um, just because I know it's, you know, I know it's, again, we've all played. And that's Telltale's Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 1. Man, it's a long title. And I think it's called All That Remains or something like that. Um, and I just wanted to kind of give you my review on it. Because um, I played Season 1, and I and I finally got Season 2 for Christmas. This is really like all I got then in SoCal 5, um, which I bought myself. Um, but yeah, I, I got the, the Season Pass for Season 2, so I'll be, uh, I'll be reviewing the other episodes that come out. But one thing that I just, you know, I just want to just kind of review it, and just one thing that I just really want to point out to you guys is this episode, or this season, is started off badass. Um, and, I, and I'm sure you guys have already seen reviews, you guys already know about it, it's amazing, you guys probably already play it, but I just want to dig into it for a little bit and talk about, you know, some of the things that I really like. And there are two, two big things I really, really enjoy from Season 2, Episode 1. First things first, Clementine. Oh my God, Clementine. So, what can I say about Clementine? Well, I'll start off with, with the simplest. She has matured a lot. If I'm not mistaken, I think Clementine was like maybe what, like a couple, like nine or ten years old or some, uh, or something like that. When uh, in season one, I can't remember. But I know she wasn't. She wasn't that old. And I think the season two starts off like a couple months after season one. Um, cause, cause I know I was with Old Me and Krista at the beginning, and, and Krista was pregnant, and then after Old Me dies at the oh, crap! I just kind of well, well, just so you guys know, spoilers ahead. Sorry about that. But um, after oh, I know Old Me dies at the beginning. The next cut scene it shows a side view of of Krista, and she has no baby, and I'm just kind of like, what the fuck? You know, like 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 where's her baby? I mean, like did she take it out or what? Or like did she like? have it and just left alone she eat it up the food or I mean like what happened like did she did she give it up or something did she trade it off with somebody for some extra food I don't know like it like and I'm sure there are other people who have the same questions I do what happened to Chris's baby but you know from that point on you kind of see like Clementine's maturation like I think she's like a couple of years old um like like 10 like 8 9 10 or something like that and so she she still would have been maybe like a year older or so at that point. She matured like five years um, older um, from that point uh, on. Like even though she's only it's only been like a couple months to a year, she's matured like a full, in my opinion, a full couple of years. Like she is uh, she is on her way um, to becoming a full like to like to becoming an adult. Um, and it's just really, and it really goes to show, like, the way she responds to people, the way she's more engaging, like, um, just like the way she takes care of herself, the way she stitched herself back together in the shed, the way she, because the thing about it, there's nobody to help her, nobody, if, 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 if a vamp, or, not a vampire, but a zombie's attacking her, she, you know, for, for the most part, she's on her own, there's nobody to take care of her, you know, because she, she loses Krista, at the beginning, so like there's like nobody to take care of her, so you know, so you can tell that she's learned to take care of herself, um, and you can tell that she's learned a lot, um, and I think that one of the harshest lessons that she learned in this season is that you really have to take care of yourself. Like when you saw the problem with the dog after after, because I know I chose to feed the dog and then I dropped it, and then like he tried to grab the food and I, and I dropped it and then Clementine was like, wait, boy, you know, you know, you, I'll give you a little bit and we'll share. And the dog just like takes a clip out of her arm. I'm like, oh shit, you know. I'm like, oh hell. And I'm like, that motherfucker, that motherfucker. And so. You know, I I know you finally throw the food over, and then the dog ends up like he ends up like getting impaled on some stuff on the ground. I think it was the stuff like to hold the tents up or something. It, it's something like he jumps over like this log to grab the food, and he ends up stumbling onto some to some sharp stuff, and he ends up like impaling himself. And he's there, he's one. <laughs> and me at that point, at least for me personally, I was like, fuck that damn dog. That dog bit bit my damn arm. I was trying to feed the dog food. Man, fuck that damn dog. So I ended up killing the dog. I, I should let I should let this ass to suffer, cause he would do the same thing to me. But I was like, well, nah, I'm, I'm gonna be the bigger the, the bigger man, or in that case, bigger little girl playable character. I'm gonna be the bigger person, 
and I and I go put it down. So I put down the doll. And I okay, man, that's and it just really like oh, the show just like how much Clementine has grown up. Cause she if she had been the same little girl from season one, her ass would be like when it got ate up, you know. And like the part where like she handles herself with a new group, how she sneaks out the shed, you know, and finds her own shit to stitch herself together. Clementine, you are a boss, my nigga, my nigga. Anyways, you know, he just one thing that I really enjoy about the uh, about uh, about season two. The other thing that I really enjoy about season two is the interaction system. The interaction system has gotten so 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 much better. Like I know they updated it for Wolf Among Us, and they updated it for um, uh, for the fifth season, and you can tell um, you can tell how much better it is. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, you can just tell, like, just in general, um, like, how there's, like, just, like, more to do, um, like, like, with, in the action scenes, like, how you can, um, like, how you can swerve to the right, or swerve to the left, and, and, like, 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 just, like, the different ways of, like, the, uh, the game plays itself out, it's just so much better, sorry, I'm a little bit distracted, somebody's, uh, calling me from my Xbox, but, um, but I love how better the interaction is. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, but yeah, like it's just like the game itself. Everything about Season 1 is better in Season 2. The, on, the only thing that I have to say about Season 2, the only thing I didn't like about Episode 1 is the abrupt ending. And I know they were going for they were going for, oh my god, what's going to happen? Oh, and I got to wait for Episode 2. But I was I was expecting it to be a little bit longer. I was expecting just a little bit more. Like, I was picking, like, maybe, like, another scene, another a couple minutes or something. Like, I just kind of felt like it just kind of like, oh, crap, okay, shit's going down. Oh, it ends. It's like, wait, what? You know, um, um, but yeah, that was the only thing that I didn't like. But even then, I, was, I still give this episode, this episode one, I still give it a 10 out of 10. Even 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 because it had a little bit of an abrupt ending, uh, I still give 10 out of 10. It's a great episode. Go check it out. Clementine is not the same. But I will tell you this, though, guys. For those of you who haven't played or if you, if I pretty much spoiled most of it for you. Not all of it, but I spoiled most of it for you. But um, what was I going to say? Um, if, you, if, if you haven't played it, this episode is so much darker than, than, uh, than pretty much anything else. Uh, and especially all of you, like, like, this episode one puts all of season one to shame, in my opinion. It really does. Um, as far as storytelling, engagement, immersion, emotional content. Um, in my opinion, I, I'd also play Wolf Among Us. And I'll probably review that a little bit, too. But, I, but I'll say one thing, though. This episode one for Walking Dead made Wolf Among Us seem elementary. I wish that I had to play Wolf Among Us before I played Walking Dead. Because after I played... Just the epicness of Walking Dead season two episode one. I went to play Wolf Among Us and it was good, but I was kind of like, this is not they're on the same level as Walking uh, as Walking uh, Dead. But don't get me wrong, Wolf Among Us was great in his own way too. And I'll get I'll get to that in another review. But let me know what you guys did. You guys enjoy Walking Dead season two episode one? Or, or did you guys purchase the season pass? Are you gonna play any more? How do you how do you feel about the character? How do you feel about Clementine? How do you feel about Old Man's death? About Krista? Um, what, what about the, the characters from, 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 uh, 400 Days? Do you think they're going to come in later? How do you feel about the different characters that Clementine interacts with? I mean, I know I haven't mentioned a whole lot about it, like about the pregnant woman who's, who has a bitch of a husband, and it may not be even her baby, and then you have the leader of the group with a daughter who's like, who doesn't, who's like kind of like a, um, who doesn't really, um, know really what's going on. With the outside world, just I know there's like a bunch of characters in there, and I haven't even talked about them because I just kind of want to lead it to your imagination. You let me know how you guys feel. Red comment, face, subscribe, uh, and I and I'll be reviewing more of the uh, Walking Dead, and I'll I'll have the Wolf Among Us up later on today when I once I play a little more of uh, GTA Five and just you know chill out for a little bit. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, and I'll be uh, and I know lately my video con uh, uploads have been slowing down. Just because it's been holidays, and I just kind of laying, laying around, me, just been kind of, um, you know, and also being kind of busy too, doing other stuff. Um, but I, but I promise I'll be uploading a, little, a couple more videos in the next couple of days, and you know, just happy holidays, guys. And I'll see you guys. Or uh, uh, I'll probably make another another video today, and um, and I'll have some more, you know, before New Year's. I'll see you guys later. Curtain six six nine three out. Peace.